Now, are you looking for a delicious treat to get you? Do you know what? We just oh, have to go straight, straight, yeah. straight, straight to the cravat, Ed, do we not? Ed, Edward Hayden's <laughs> making his um, apple baked charlottes, and because it's very posh, he's wearing a cravat. Crava yes. And the green trousers. <laughs> you are scrubbed up well today. Such is the esteem I hold the show and all <laughs> and all involved in it, and well, the audience that home. It's about time. To make, <laughs> 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 I'm after making a few pounds now to buy a few regouts. <laughs> Fair play. So, baked apple charlottes. Baked apple Charlotte. Charlotte. It is a gorgeous, gorgeous dessert. And I was thinking the other day, what was I going to do? And uh, I had a whole load of apples at home because cooking apples are still on the go. People are still using lots of cooking apples. So I was thinking, God, what could I do? And I said, I'm not going to do a crumble because I've done that before. So I thought of the Charlotte. Charlotte is a kind of a really old, um, I won't say old fashioned, but it's a really old type of a dessert. It's like encased uh, around the side, this time with you bread. Have it there. I have it with bread. bread just to show you. Uh, and sometimes, so people might be familiar with a kind of a Charlotte Royale, is kind of done in like a domed shape with pieces of Swiss roll filled with a lovely custard, a set custard. So it's like oh. a trifle or there's a Charlotte mm. Russe cake. So I'm going to do just an apple Charlotte, which is a, a bread based uh, it's dessert. It's basically fresh bread or it's, can yeah. you use stale bread? Is that the idea? You no? can you can oh. use stale bread. I was at the supermarket last night and the girl on the till says to me, you're making bread and butter pudding for the telly, I'd say. <laughs> I said, wrong shift, not fully. But uh, I'm making uh, this with bread. So what I've got is I've got this little dome shaped mold. This is a kind of a pudding base or someone would call it a dairy old mould. I've just taken... I you don't have them at home. Uh, right? Use a ramekin. You know, the kind of the ramekins that you'd kind of have for, for like baked eggs or, oh, yeah. you know, a dish. You know, even if you had an oven-proof cup, you know, the kind of the, yeah. the oven-proof cups would work really nicely for it. Or a Pyrex dish. So I've just got a bread, buttered it, and I've cut it out with a scone cutter. So I have a little disc of bread there, just oh, like so. Bread. I thought that was a biscuit. Yeah, no, it's just bread. And then what I've got is I've got buttered bread, I've cut the crust off it, and then I just cut each piece in about four pieces just like it's so. It's important that you butter it. Evan. Yeah, it's important. Now, interesting that you asked that, Adam, because look, I have my tin lined and I'm putting the buttered part on the outside of oh, the so dish. so you're sticking it nearly to the So I'm going to the sticking tin. it to the tin, exactly. And then once I have that baked in the oven, that bread will do, the buttered bread will toast as bread mm. does. So it'll be lovely and golden brown on the outside. So look what I've done. I'm just starting to build that around just like though. Mm. What's really important is to kind of use your fingers just to press it in so that it's not going to be too um, thick, okay? So I could continue there with the other slice of bread, but you have, see I have one done. Then here what I've got is I've just got some apples which I've stewed. So I've just got some diced apples, put them into a pot with some sugar and some water and cooked them down. I'm going to add to those a bit of cinnamon and some sultanas. But think of adding like raspberries, frozen or fresh raspberries. Think of adding blackberries in there uh, as we move towards Christmas. You know, think of doing this as a kind of a, a cranberry version as well, apple and so cranberry. Can I just ask you, because I've never done this before. Yeah. So you, you chop up an apple. Yeah, OK. You put it in a pot. Yeah, with about with a tablespoon or two of water and cook it over a low heat and it'll render down, like as if you're making an apple sauce for pork or something like that. And it like comes that. out like that. It'll How come out apples? like that. How many apples would you have in that, Now, there's about, there's about uh, three large cooking three apples large in this ones, okay. bowl here. And do you, do you peel them? Oh, yeah, peel All them right, and dice right, them, yeah. yeah. Now, what I'm going to do then <laughs> is I'm going to... I've never done it. Yeah, yeah. I've, I've never, never done you go, are you it. You should finish that sentence, or never will. Yeah, exactly. Are you going to... But anyway, it sounds very aspirational anyway, well which done, is good, Adam, absolutely. all the right questions. They're all think he's going home to whip up an old chart or something. Leave you there with the pot now, stewed apples listen, all night. here I've got my lovely <laughs> apple <laughs> filling. Look what I'm going to do. I'm going to fill it. And you can see that there's a little bit of an overhang over the top of the dish, just like so. So I'm going to just tuck that in. And then what I would normally do is use a kind of a glove or even just use a plate just to press that down before I put mm. it into the oven. You saw me doing that this morning. Put all of those onto a tray and pop those into the oven. About 20 minutes, 180, 350 or gas mark four. What I want to just tell people at home, the key thing to do when you take oh, them out oh, of the oven, aren't they? Lovely. Oh, look at this. Now, when the key thing to do, and this is where people will make the mistake, you saw me this morning just after the news, um, Alan, I popped those into the oven and I took them out at about 25 past eight and I've left them sitting there since. And that's the key thing because if you take them out, with the apples like bubbling and boiling hot, they'll just burst. kind of burst and deflate. Oh, so, let so just let them sit down. for about 10 minutes or thereabout. And then what I've got is I've got uh, some lovely custard here. Oh, Tommy. So pour that <laughs> on top of the lovely apple charlottes. And uh, I suppose you'd like a little bit of cream as oh, well, would you? When you're out, you're out, isn't that what they say? 
uh, just like that. <laughs> And I've got them now, here. Would well, just you, look at the outside of them. I was going to them. say, would you pour the custard and everything over that there? Well, now, if I was Alan, having a dinner party or Alan, something. The spoon there. Oh, yeah. <laughs> lash, <laughs> lash it stop down talking. to him. Stop asking but I would questions. probably do, Alan, as I'd leave them sitting in a pool of custard and serve, I, that's an, what additional, I was thinking, yeah. serve an additional jug of custard on the side. But just look at the lovely layers on the oh, outside that, of those. Squishes you can see those. Out. And it just squishes down as well. So it's very simple. It's house. Um, Household ingredients, but and you um, can use stale bread. You can use stale bread. And very you have to peel your apples. Peel your apples, <laughs> chew them down. Absolutely. Yeah. Mm. Well, I give you one going home, Alan. That'll do you. Mm. <laughs> you can say then you've made a sh apple charlotte. They look great, though, too, but don't they? Really and nice, and I think they're really impressive. Delish. And yeah, they're just a nice little. And the uh, custard, treat. everything with custard though tastes good, doesn't it? It certainly does. That's what I said. It's kind of Moorish, isn't it? Mm. It's really Moorish. Oh, Will you yeah. be making it, Alan? That's lovely. I love this. That's Alan great. stewing apples with the peel still on. Yeah. <laughs> Edward Hedden, thank you so oh, much again. Sure. As always, brilliant. Thank uh, you. Go on, Martin, you can... would you know that you had to peel the apples? You would, of course. Absolutely. <laughs> why would you even ask me something like that? I know everything about the kitchen. That's why I've only been in there once. And I'm looking forward to what's coming up because we've got a comedian here who's been taking all of that in and I'm hoping someday you might make a TikTok appearance with uh, Killian Sunderman about peeling apples, Alan. It might be absolutely amazing. Killian cool. Sunderman is going to be telling us all about his photography sketches. Yeah, that's what they're called. Yeah, photography can, sketches. Can Alan make yeah. it with peeling apples? Maybe, maybe stick with the... Maybe stick with the presenting. Stick with the presenting, <laughs> maybe. <laughs> we'll find out. We're going to be talking to Killian after the break.